Hey, I'm back with another You Me Same 3 with Tiffany at Southern Gals Designs. And this month, our three items came from Hope from Heidi Blog. And she sent the card that says Stay Gold and a piece of cork with flowers on it. And then the cool little sequin and glitter pocket. So Heidi has some illnesses that require her to be in the hospital a lot. And she brings her art with her on the go. And she has an art journal that she works in. And she said she's had other patients ask her about them. So she has started making and getting donations of journals and passing them out. She said that they gave 200 journals away last year. And so my thought is I wanted to make a journal so that I could send it back to Heidi and she could give that away to whomever she felt she wanted to. Anyhow, if you want to learn more about what Heidi does and um, what's going on with her, please check out her Instagram page or her website. And if you'd like to donate something, it's a, it's a great cause. So what I'm doing is I used just the, the backing off of like, I believe it was like Bristol paper or just an art pad. And um, it's pretty thick. So I just cut those down. I cut it in force and um, I took the two pieces and gessoed the top and then I um, put some gesso along the edges too just to give it a clear clear edge well that's what I'm doing now <laughs> um, got ahead of myself a little bit but I pretty much I didn't use any paint other than gesso in this whole project and um, what I did use was just two Lindy stamp gang colors and I'll have all of the supplies listed below and anything that I can link through the affiliate link I will just remember if you purchase from that a small commission commission compensation whatever you want to call it will come back to me so um anyhow I just glued those pieces down with matte medium and um then I folded the edges and kind of distressed it with the distressing tool and then I'm going to use a soft pastel to just kind of edge it, just kind of give it a little bit, a little bit of color around the edges. Now I will tell you my video is a hot mess and I apologize for that. Not only was this a challenging, um, a challenging collab this time, but it was challenging for so many reasons. My, uh, my video camera is dead and I kind of had to finagle it to get it to work, but it's here, but you can tell, um, yeah, it's missing a little bit and I apologize for that, but I have a new video camera coming. So hopefully it'll be better than before. And, um, Tiff was kind enough to let me know what camera she has and y'all know her videos always turn out amazing. So I copied her. So if mine is horrible, then we know it's all user error, but it probably is anyhow, because technology and me do not get along at all. But anyhow, I cut down the stay gold because I wanted that to be kind of like the focal piece, the centerpiece of the whole project or of the whole journal. So I'm just taking some gold, it's Amsterdam acrylic ink and a fan brush and just putting some, some little splotches or splats or whatever technical term you would like to use. And then another, using the, um, the soft pastel again, just around the edges. And then I'm gonna see how that looks on the journal cover. And then I'm trying to figure out what to do with that little cork piece. I'm not sure if I want it to kind of frame it or if I wanted to make kind of like a little banner behind it and framing it one out. So I just used an X-Acto knife and cut it so that I got a clear line but I'm not showing you all my cutting because apparently my husband tells me I'm scary with a knife or, <laughs> or any tools. So I won't scare you guys too. So I used heavy matte gel medium on anything that had any weight to it. And everything else was just regular matte gel, no glue stick this time either. So no paint, no glue stick. Maybe that's why this time was such a challenge for me because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't use all of the staple things that I'm used to using, but like I said, I honestly, I liked the outcome. I like how this came out, but it, it did challenge me. You challenged me a lot, Heidi. So <laughs> you, you did your job. Um, so now I'm just, I'm,
trying to use those little pieces of sequin on the cover too. I just thought that they would kind of still make more of the gold pop a little bit more. And that is just clear tacky glue. And I'm going to use, it's supposed to be like, I think it's for beads, like beading to pick up beads. But um, I don't know if I have a dud or if it's old or what the deal is, but it didn't pick anything up or it picked it up and then didn't let it go or anyhow, it's in the trash now. So <laughs> maybe I just got a dud, but it was only like a dollar, but it, it did not work that well. Anyhow, I don't make you painfully watch me go through all that, but I'm going to put three in the top left and then three in the bottom right corner, but it just didn't feel like finished. It felt like you could like, I just didn't feel finished. So then I added some more of the clear tacky glue and some glass glitter and that felt better. So I'm going to do that right now. Just a little dot in the center and then I just sprinkled that on. And then of course I wanted to save the excess. So I just put that off and onto a page and put it back in the bottle. And then there is my little sequin pack and I, um, I just sewed across the top. I have some gold thread and, um, my sewing machine hates it. And it, I think I re-threaded my machine maybe five or six times to do this, that whole part, but it's done and I'll never use it again like that. And there's my cat who always jumps on my desk. Um, but the little piece of material is the binding that I'm going to put between the front and back cover. Um, for the spine. So I just used again those same colors. You'll see me use those same colors on pieces of paper and cardstock. Um, that's all I've used. I just used uh, like more, I used more ink on the pages that are more vibrant. And I used a really good amount of the heavy matte gel on this portion, just really liberal so that I made sure it, it, it adhered well. And then I put a ruler along the back just to make sure that they were lined up well. And then just stuck that down. And then I have some, this is another, I think this is the card stack that's gonna go over top of the binding. And again, the same thing. And there is, it's just a piece of ribbon. I'm not sure what exactly it's from, but it reminds me of Sari ribbon. And again, the same colors, but this is kind of a cream color, so I didn't add as much. And the colors look really diluted on it too. So, so again, just adhering that down again with the matte gel. And typically I'm showing you if I do, obviously there's two sides to things. I'm just showing you the one side because the video was getting long and nobody wants to see all that. <laughs> At least I don't think they do. Um, so again, just applying a liberal amount of the matte gel. And then I'm going to attach the cardstock, trying my best to make it as even as I can, even though that is not straight lines are not my forte. And then I'm just using a brayer to kind of press it down and make sure there wasn't any, any bubbles. And then I did the same on the other side. And then these are just some shipping tags. And I just wanted to take that little middle piece off so that I can lay, I, again, I, sprayed another piece of paper to cover the front and back of that. And then I'm going to cut it off and then punch the hole through the one side. And then I'll do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to, I like to use the distressing tool. You could use sandpaper, that type of thing. It kind of makes the edges a little bit thinner so they don't peel up. And then it also takes the soft pastel that I'm using to edge it better. So just repeating the pattern on the back, like I said. And then I'm gonna cut the, cut the excess off and again, kind of file it down. And then that believe it or not, is from one of those rugs from Five Below. And if you just peel all the layers out, you get all these crazy fibers that are almost like sari ribbon. And there I'm going around. And this time I used a little darker color. And I'm just going to use that for the ribbon on the tag. The So it's from a rug, but it's never been used as a rug 
Tiffany and I bought them for that when we were at a workshop in Tennessee, I believe, or not Tennessee, but in Franklin, I believe. I think it was Jean Oliver's when we went to one of her workshops. And then the the gold card, I wanted to put tape over it because my thought was you could use it kind of like a write on wipe off. So you could make like a to-do list or a read list or whatever you wanted. And um, so I just cut the edges off that didn't have the tape on it. And then I'm going to attach that to the tag. And that little spatula works great for applying things with like a nice even layer. Thank you, Michael's Clearance. Y'all know how I love my little clearance sales. It's kind of embarrassing. So there's that. That little tag is kind of done. I'm just going to brayer it and then... Now if I were going to use this for me, I would get the little smaller right on wipe off markers, but all I have is a big fat one. So I'm just showing you. I don't know why. I'm just showing you what I meant by it. <laughs> And then more paper. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, this is for the pocket. So I'm going to use the sequin, the little sequin pocket, the little sequins to make a little pocket for the tag to go in. And there's my cat again. And I sewed it when it was all together and um, had a lot of difficulties getting that white backing off. But you can hardly tell now that it's completely done. And again, I'm lining it. Now I will say I'm not going to show you how I bound the book because I have other tutorials. It's just, just a pamphlet stitch and I'll put a little I card at the top so you can go check those out. But that's my journal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you go check out what Tiffany made. I'm sure it's absolutely gorgeous and would love it if you subscribed and gave us a thumbs up and any questions or comments that you have. Thanks so much. Bye.